Hello. This picture's not really that good, but never mind. God knows what's going on wrong with the uh, webcam, but I've tried my best. You can still see me, so... This video is basically one that's been requested about comedies, BBC comedies, that I like. Because I've got a thing about them, and I'm always watching at least one episode a day of something that I like. Get obsessed at one point with a certain comedy, and I watch it over and over for weeks on end. So... Basically, the main one, these are only my opinions, a layman's opinion. No no uh, proper facts or figures that I know of anyway. So, you feel free to express your opinion, but don't shoot me down for what I think. Basically, my favourite comedy is uh, Only Falls and Horses. That was actually, okay fact, was actually voted Britain's best sitcom BBC one so I've always liked Only Fools we used to watch it back in the 90s and well I was only born in 89 so yes yeah, about the late uh, mid to late 90s we started watching it and I've seen every single episode over and over and over we never failed to get boring or anything and I've met Quite a few of the cast from Only Falls still on the hunt for David Jason, but hopefully I might get there one day. Anyway, so I've also got loads of other comedies that I like, and I've been watching lately. I've been watching a lot of Open All Hours, which is a really good comedy. One of, in my opinion, one of David Jason's best, and Ronnie Barker's. So yeah, they were one of the best comedies. Well, one of the best comedies of David Jason back in his youthful days, should I say. Although I do like Still Open All Hours. Quite a lot of people aren't really a fan of that and don't think it's really good compared to the old stuff. Okay, maybe not, but it is really good and I love it. And they've got all the episodes on the BBC iPlayer, now, so I've spent all the last few, less than a week, if it took me to watch the whole entire four and a half series. Oh! That reminds me, there's an episode on tonight. I must remember that. <laughs> anyway, you don't need to hear that bit. So, yeah, other comedies I like are... Um, back in... I can't remember now what it was. It might have been... I think it was around about after 2015. Or was it before? Anyway, I found uh, the whole of um, Good Night Sweetheart to watch. I vaguely remembered it as a programme being about time travel and the war, and that was about it. I vaguely remember watching an episode or two here and there when I was on the telly, but nothing, so I didn't exactly know the proper storyline, the whole entire progression of the story. So I watched the whole entire thing within, I don't know, it was about two weeks. I got totally addicted to it, and it's become the second best comedy ever. And I was so excited, I think it was about 2016, was it, when they did the new episode? And I was so excited, but I'm thinking, if they made the portal open again, so that you can go back to um, the present, back to now, or forward to now as it is, why did they not make a new series? If there wasn't going to be a new series, it shouldn't have been permanently the portal shouldn't have been permanently open for them to actually for him to actually go come to now and see all his friends and family. So I don't think the BBC will ever make a new series properly, but you never know. I always live in hope. So yeah. Third comedy is by a comedy legend or Stars are comedy legends, to say, and that's uh, One Foot in the Grave. That is one that I've, I don't know why, it's just, I got obsessed with it at one point, and I just, for weeks and must be months on end, I just watched all six series over and over and over, and then I'd get obsessed with one certain series, and I'd uh, put a DVD in the machine, and that'd be it. I just watched the whole entire thing over and over and over, and I wouldn't watch anything else, just that one DVD. For ages so and um richard wilson is a comedy legend and i have met him i'm sure i might show you the pictures i will do a comic con special on people i've met at comic cons but for now to say i've met him at the comic con i had to meet him because he was a legend he's been in a few other things that i really like 
as well as Doctor Who and Merlin, so that's good. Then um, there's quite a few other comedies that I really like, and there was like trying to choose between that's the top three Only Fools and Horses, Good Night, Sweetheart, and One Foot in the Grave, but also. Then there was other things. It was, um, you can't fail to love Victoria Wood for her dinner ladies. It's a shame, in a way it's a shame they only did two series, but in another way, if they'd done too many series, it probably would have got, wouldn't have been as good. So I'm always watching that every now and then, an episode here and an episode there. So uh, you can watch the whole entire two series in a couple of days. Which I have done several times before now because I've got them all on DVD so I can rewatch. Then it was which other comedies, and it was a good few years back now, sometime in the mid 2000s. Might have been late 2000s, maybe 2010 ish, when uh, three of you got the Drama Channel for the first time and they started showing dinner. Um, they started showing Birds of a Feather, another girl related comedy that I love, Whoopi. And uh, they did a. Uh, they started showing them all, so we started watching them. Not all in all, they were showing them in order, but we were watching them when we could. We realised we hadn't seen quite a few episodes. We called ourselves fans, but then we realised, oh, we haven't really seen that many episodes, so every, every single time it was on drama we used to watch. It's still on drama now and then, but I don't have the time to really fish them out and watch them all. I've got series one, two, one on DVD and then I've got series uh, seven and eight. So I'm missing two, three, four, five and six. But they are really expensive to buy and I'm fishing them out slowly in, um, <clears throat> in CX so I can watch them all over again. But I got obsessed with the first series, especially the Christmas episode where they go on a cruise. Well, you don't actually see them go on a cruise, you just see them get on the cruise. But it's still a really good episode and I've watched it over and over and over. And Dad's like, oh no, not that episode again, and so on and so forth. But I like that. The newer episodes, the ones on ITV, I'm kind of glad that the ITV have now axed it. Because I did like it and now watching it back, I find I like it even more than I did before. But I did actually um, not like it as much as the older episodes. It's not really got that feel to it like the old episodes. ITV cannot do comedies properly to save their lives. That's why I say this is just BBC comedies because I just like BBC ones and nothing else. Basically, yeah, uh, after dinner, one after Birds of a Feather, which is number five on my list, it was like, what else? And they're like. How can I miss out Red Dwarf? I like, to an extent, I like science fiction. So, and comedy. So, Red Dwarf is a good combination. So, that was number six on my list. And I've met quite a lot of the cast. Both Hollies, female and male. And all the four main characters. As well as Cat, Rimmer, Crichton and um, Lister. So... All look Comic Cons, I think I've met them all, yeah, at Comic Cons, which I will fish out the photos eventually and do another post to show you. So, and uh, it was about the mid 90s we got Sky. This was when we was really young, so I didn't really use it that much. Dad used it, Mum used it. We used to watch the odd thing on it if Dad was watching at the time we was there. So, he recorded the first two ever episodes of Red Dwarf. And I was like, and we kept watching over and over and over. And then one Christmas, early 2000s, they said, they, this is when the BBC still played it. BBC showed them all late at night, one episode a night during Christmas. And I uh, was excited because we'd never seen any other but the first two episodes. I was really excited to see what it was all like. And we really loved it, loved it in general. And I've got it all on DVD. We were so excited when uh, Dave brought the n did new episodes, which I really like. They're not, again, they're not as good as the old stuff, but they're still really good. I still rate them, and I like watching them when they're repeated. So, Red Dwarf, there's other things. There's quite a few comedies I don't like, 
look like um well i don't mind last summer's wine it's the odd episode here and there if i'm bored but it's not one i really like i've tried to watch porridge and didn't really like that I'm not a fan of the young ones or dad's army or yes prime minister and it like that as time goes by is a funny one not funny as in ha ha but funny as in i'm not sure if i really like it i've watched a few episodes and used to think i liked it but then i'm not quite sure so i leave that one out there's are you being served is another one which is yes and no i watched the odd episode but not one that i really really like one other ones that i really like are stuff like the vicar of dibley you can't fault um dawn french for that that is really good especially the christmas ones i watch them over and over and over even though there's only two christmas ones christmas is not christmas without a christmas episode of the vicar of dibley the best then there's um keeping up appearances quite a few people think she's annoying hyacinth or you have a hyacinth in your life which is funny but dad don't like that he thinks hyacinth annoys him too much so he doesn't like watching it so i watch it just to annoy him he used to like i used to be able to watch a few episodes and then give up because she used to annoy me but i think i've mellowed out since because i can watch her forever and she don't annoy me at all so that is a really good comedy so um there's Faulty Towers, which I really like. I can't watch watch it all the time because, yes, Basil does get annoying after a while. But you can watch quite a bit of it and it is actually really, really, really funny. So uh, I love that. Then there's... Um, what else is there? Men Behaving Badly is another one which I love watching. I don't watch all the time or watch enough, but I love watching here and there. And we've got it on DVD, and if it's on the TV, I'll watch it. But I won't watch it obsessively like I will with other comedies and the likes of. I think that's basically, unless I've forgotten anything. If I've forgotten anything, God help me. Basically, uh, that's about it on the comedy front. I will, every night, or nearly every night, unless I'm really tired, I will put on an episode of something and watch it. Or if I'm too bored and I can't bother to get up, I would just put whatever's on in the DVD machine, which last time was the 1990 Christmas special of um, One Foot in a Grave, where Victor breaks his leg and uh, ends up being taken hostage on Christmas Day by a lunatic with a with a uh, machine gun. Not that anything happened, but still, there's not much memorable happened in that episode. Just something I really like that episode. And it's just so funny and the, we've got no we're not having a christmas tree in our house this christmas then a few days later this tree falls over into their house and mrs warboy says oh you've got a tree in the house after all mr meldrew and that is just comedy classic classic comedy and then there's uh as i said only falls is the best ever and my favorite is definitely time on our hands where they went and won when they went and found that watch and got 6.2 million basically i think they should have left it there and not done those new episodes i like the new episodes and the likes of but i didn't really um i don't think they should have been shown it should have shown them winning and then that was it you lived your imagination not winning and losing Okay, it's all about losing, basically. So you've got to see them lose, but I didn't want to really. So talking of newer comedies, just remember, newer comedies, something like My Family that run for 11 series. Quite a few people are annoyed with it, but I really loved it and found it hilarious. Got all 11 series on DVD and I love it to bits. There's no standout episodes. It's just all really good and really funny in their own way. Okay. My preference, the one with John Barrett in it, in the airport, series 9, which is really good. I love that one. But in general, and I like the Christmas episodes, especially the one where they go on the tube and they uh, get stuck on a tube and um, Nick's got all this water and uh, Ben wants a drop. 
and he makes him pay for it. By the time he wants to pay for the water, there's nothing left, and because he sold all the water for Christmas presents on the tree on the tube, which is so hilarious. And um, then there was, I think, before that, there was my hero. I can't exactly remember how it came. It might have been in between. Well, I've my family was going on there was my hero which if you haven't watched what is funny it's about a, there being another planet people know about this other planet and that they're one of the people from that planet becomes a super is a superhero and starts helping to save the uh or helps to save the earth but nobody knows who this superhero is and then and then the woman falls in love with him and or falls in love with the alter ego he's made on earth and then marries him and then finds out or finds out he's fur moment and as they called him and then marries him and has babe and has a baby with him. Well, two actually, I think, by the end. But the last series was crap because obviously Ardlo Handen had to leave for some reason, obviously. And then they decided, oh let's carry on with someone else and they've ruined it. They should have stopped it there. I watched the last series with the new bloke, whatever his name was, but I hated it. It was not my hero. So if I rewatch it, I won't rewatch the last series. It just fizzles out. So anything else, older comedy wise, no thank you. No Gavin and Stacey, I'm not a fan of that. Most people probably are, but nope. And I don't do American comedies. Basically, I don't do American TV shows. I say I don't do American comedies, apart from The Simpsons, if you can call that comedy slash slash um, whatever you call it, cartoon type thing. So yeah, I do that. I'm obsessed with that, but that's about it. I don't do any American comedies at all. So I don't like, well I have tried a few other BBC or looked at a few other BBC comedies in my time but none that I've ever actually um, liked after about say the mid 2000s and nowadays comedies are crap they're never what they used to be so um, yeah any questions or anything you want to know about anything I like comedy wise please do um, leave me a comment as you say so yeah, that's that's all. My favourite comedies. In order, so recap, in order is Only Fools and Horses, Good Night Sweetheart, One Foot in the Grave, Dinner Ladies, Birds of a Feather, then number six is Red Wolf, and number seven would be Open All Hours. Oh, Got to touch on the last couple of bits and bobs of Only Fools and Horses. People say it's crap, but the actual spin-off to Only Fools and Horses with Boise and Martley and Green Green Grass was actually really good comedy. And I love it, and I will watch it over and over and over. And I'm going to become obsessed with it, but it's a really good comedy to watch it over and over. And I will watch it over and over, so, yeah. That's that. Rock and Chips, which was the uh, prequel to Only Fools and Horses. I actually quite liked it. People said it was crap, but I liked it. The one thing I would say is, I hope there isn't no more Only Fools and Horses. And that Boise, Boise but that um, <laughs> David Jason does not play Delvoy again. Because John Sullivan has now died. He wrote the whole of... Only Fools and Horses, Rock and Chips, and Green Green Grass, every single episode, all by himself, with no help. And basically, if anyone else did it, it would not be the same. So, my opinion, no more Fools and Horses. We will forever watch the episodes over and over, and that will be the best comedy that was ever made, but never, ever have any other episodes. Newer ones, new episodes. Because David... I don't, there was talk about um, John Sullivan's son writing it, but no, nobody else is to write it ever. It's all right replaying the episodes over and over, but that's as far as it goes. You can never go wrong with an Only Fools and Horses episode when you're bored. So, yeah. So that's my opinion on 
BBC comedies. If I've missed anything, or you want to know the my opinion on something else BBC comedy wise, I've forgotten. Do leave me a comment, and I will reply. Do my best to reply if I can see your comment.